What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Cap through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. I'm going to do the reading a little different, differently this time. I haven't got any channel messages in yet, but I'm going to do it a little differently. Um, and we'll see where it goes, okay? Um, this is a free general collective reading um, for all signs. I only take the messages that resonate with the rest. You can't fit a square, square into a hole. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Or at least not a big one. So, just saying, okay? Point is, if it, don't, if it doesn't apply, let it apply. If don't, don't force anything is my point, okay? Thanks, everybody, for all the new subscribers. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. Um, if you would like a personal reading, um, it is in the description box below. All the details, uh, you have to text me to book it. And you do not pay through PayPal until we agree upon a scheduled time. Okay? Love you guys. Okay. So we're going to do it a little differently. I'm going to put the screen down. Hopefully y'all can hear me okay. Let me, let's see, make sure it's all the way up. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, I just got channeling. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Oh, let me get the light on real quick. Let me get the light on and then we'll do it. Okay. I already walked my three miles today, so I'm ready to roll. Okay. All right. I just heard somebody's afraid they're going to get fired. That's the channeling I just heard. Somebody's afraid they're going to get fired. Drugs. Drugs. Somebody's afraid they're going to get fired. Drugs. So you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. So somebody's afraid they're going to get fired. Drugs. I'm, I feel guided to use um, the psychic tarot. A company-wide drug screening is about to be rolled out this week. A company-wide drug screening is about to be rolled out this week. So you plug it in how it resonates. So somebody's afraid they're um, going to get fired. And a company-wide drug screening is going to be rolled out this week. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, let's get rolling. Um, I feel for some, you could be the one about to, I hate keeping it down like that. I know a lot of readers keep it down like that, but I hate doing it because I'm talking to the freaking wall. So I guess I'll keep it up. Um, yeah, so... Um, I feel for some of you guys, you're going to be positioned high authority about to roll out these uh, company-wide drug screenings. I'm just being for real. I think for some, you could be um, corporate. I feel for some, you could be in corporate about to initiate this. And I'm just for real. But there's somebody in here that I feel watches my channel or is about to watch my channel. If somebody shares this video with them, they're afraid that they're going to get fired because of drugs. Um, and also, I want, to, if anybody is, if you are one of the ones about to roll out the company-wide drug screen, whether you're a position of authority or corporate, I would really suggest checking out my Le newest Leo, hashtag Leo Gang video. I have a promotion video for it in the um, video uh, selection. You have to scroll down. It's promo of hashtag Leo Gang with exclamation point. It's my newest video. Um, it's the one uh, where the detective is going to breathe the pain. Um, in the court situation, it's in that reading. Um, it's the most recent one I did. It's a live stream. But anyways, um, it talks about um, experiences of my older sister in the past and how she got away with, um, she's very large breasted and how she got away with um, passing drug screens um, by using other people's urine. If anybody, uh, by putting vials in between her breasts walking into the bathroom. If anybody wants to check that reading out, I would suggest it if you're one of the ones about to roll out the company-wide drug screens or you're corporate about to initiate this. Just saying, just saying. But somebody in here, I feel that watches my channel, 
Um, cause you know, I pull the energy you guys in when you watch and when you like, and when you comment, that's how I receive the channel messages from the spiritual universe. So I feel like somebody that already watches my channel, they're afraid they're going to get, um, exposed for drugs. And I just heard a company wide drug screen is going to be rolled out this week in a corporate conglomerate. So you plug it in, how it resonates, man. There's about to be huge events happening this week. Huge, unforeseeable events. Life-altering events. There's about to be huge, life-altering, unforeseeable events happening this week. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So for some, they're very good. For some, they're very bad. Ex huge corruption exposed. For some, they're very good. For some, they're very bad. Huge corruption exposed. So, huge life-altering event going to happen this week. For some, they're very good. For some, they're very bad. Um, huge life-altering events happening this week. Some good, there's some, some bad, and some kind of corruption exposed. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy crap. We have King of Pentacles upright, Three of Wands upright, King of Swords upright. Sorry, that was my neighbor across the street. A public investigator is about to speak to a private investigator very soon. It's about to be very important information. Very important information. It's about to cause great action. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A public investigator is about to speak to a private investigator very soon. It's about to cause huge action, huge, great action. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So public investigator to private investigator energy. I feel this is the public and private investigator. For some, you could be the public or private investigator. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Or you could be someone the public or private investigator is speaking about or something of that nature. Um, how that resonates and applies. Um, it could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, public investigator, or private investigator, or a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, public investigator, or private investigator. Um, we have King of Pentacles upright, King of Swords upright, um, speaking a lot of truth. Uh, both of these people, I feel they have, obviously they have good jobs, probably make good money, stable, grounded, reliable, dependable, and speaking a lot of truth. Um, I heard great action was going to be um, taken, so... That's the action energy here. Public investigator to private investigator energy. I heard huge events coming this week. For some, it's going to be good. For some, it's going to be bad. I feel it's going to, I feel it's what side of karma you're on. What side of the karmic wheel you're on. Are you on the good side of karma or the bad side of karma? Have you done something bad to person, people, place, or situation? Or have you put good into the universe? You know, only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. <clears throat> a death in a workplace is about to become very significant. In a cold case. Re connecting to co a coven. A death in a workplace is about to become very significant and a um, a cold case um, related to a COVID. So you plug it in how it resonates. So a death in a workplace is about to become very significant and a cold case um, connected to a COVID is about to become very significant. So two deaths in here. So you plug it in how it resonates. I wasn't even going to do this reading, but I'm glad I am um, because, man, that's strong. So we have two deaths in here. One that it sounds like um, has already happened in the universe. Um, 
a death in a workplace, a significant death in a workplace, and a um, cold case uh, relating to um, a COVID, connected to a COVID. So you plug in and how it resonates. For some, the death could happen this week, possibly. I'm kind of feeling that. For some, maybe the death could happen this week. There is going to be a very significant death this week in a workplace. Very significant. And there's going to be a huge public outcry of injustice and corruption. Huge public outcry. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, so possibly three deaths. Um, possibly. The death in the workplace could have already happened. One is about to happen. One is about to happen for sure, for sure. One is about to happen for sure. This week, I heard. Um, so, let me see. So, we're Sunday, so 9-5 to, I'm feeling like 9-5 to 9-12. Um, 9-5-2022 to 9-12-2022. This week, upcoming. One could have already happened. There's a reason these two investigators are about to communicate about these deaths in the workplace and the um, the one that's about to happen this week. One that could have already happened this week. I mean, not this week. One that could have already happened in the past. And um, uh, the cold case of the uh, death that's already obviously cold case. This happened a minute ago connected to the COVID. Um, there's a reason they're communicating about this. I, I mean, I'm just being for real. Very important communication. Very important. Life-changing communication. Very important communication. Very important life-changing communication. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, my God. So um, that's strong. So possibly three deaths, for sure, two. One that's going to happen this week in a workplace, for sure. One that might have already happened in a workplace. And a cold case connected to a COVID. Woo-wee, that's strong. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And I heard there's going to be a huge public outcry um, relating to corruption and injustice. Um, in a city, it's going to be huge. Okay, in a city, it's going to be huge. Huge public outcry relating to corruption in a city, it's going to be huge. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy crap. And someone's about to get a new job this uh, this week through many series of chain of events. They're very, very, very good at what they do. Very good. And someone's about to get a new job this week through many series of chain of events. They're very, very, very good at what they do. So that could be you about to get a new job this week because you're very, very, very good at what you do or somebody you're connected to. You plug it in how it resonates, however that resonates. I want to say while I'm shuffling out, you guys, I was afraid I was gaining weight. I'm actually losing weight. I'm very happy. Um, oh, oh, shoot, man. Maybe somebody's um, emotional over person, people, place, or situation, or they have addictions. The cars just flew out everywhere. Holy crap. Hold on. Y'all got to bear with me. I'm sorry. Ugh. But yeah, I'm like 157. Um, I was like 160, 162. I'm like 157. It's going down, baby. It's going down. One mile at a time. So somebody's about to get a new job this week. They're very good at what they do. So you plugged in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have reflected. Oh, hold on, y'all. I'm missing. I'm missing one. Hold on a second.
Hope y'all didn't see my big butt. Hope not. I don't know. I was on the other end of that. Experiments to this year, I've collected. I just channeled that song. I like big butts. I cannot lie. No other brother can deny. When I see a girl walk in with an itty bitty something, something, something in my face, I get sprung. Spirit messages you have for questions. Oh my God. You can't. What? We got the desk card. I can already see that one. I can't see the other one. Yep. Holy crap. Desk, pay attention to your work. Um, that's the private investigator and the public investigator and the um, uh, the person about to get the new job, I'm feeling. Uh, somebody's about to get a new job. I heard they're very good at what they do. Boom, baby. There's over 100 cards in the tea leaves, man. Just saying, just saying. Desk, pay attention to your work. Wind chime, peace and harmony. So um, I think peace and harmony is going to come to some kind of um, somebody getting a new job. They're very good at what they do. And I think that also could go with this. Hey, uh-uh. It's not a scratch and post. Come on. Up here. Come on. Sorry. Got to order my cat tree off chew. Um, I think it can also go with this. Um, the investigators, uh, public and private investigators, and um, maybe peace is going to come to the death. I mean, there's a death. I heard a death going to come. A, um, a horrible death this week. A horrible death. A horrible death. A horrible death this week. A horrible death. There's going to be a horrible death this week. I feel there's already one that's already happened in a workplace, though. There is one that's already happened in a workplace, for sure. There, okay, so there's one that has already happened in a workplace and one that's upcoming this week and the one, the cold case connected to the COVID. So peace and harmony is going to come because of this communication. Um, between these people is what I'm feeling. Um, like when these two collaborate and communicate, a uh, lots of effective communication here. So something can be done about this basically. Um, why the hell are all these deaths happening out in the universe? I mean, in the workplaces, dear God have mercy. I mean, and the COVID energy too, but hell, I've been picking that up for a while. Y'all know that shit. All right, let's move on. A swinger video was, somebody was hoping a swinger video would go viral, but it's not going to get any, hardly any attention. Not going to bring in hardly any revenue. And through many series of chain of events, this video will be taken down. It's going to piss off the person that posted it. But they did it illegally. Without consent or authorization. Oh, Lord. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. So, we've got some kind of swinger video. I heard um, they were hoping to go viral. It sounds like it's posted on an internet site or sites. Um, it could possibly be on the dark web, but I, I don't feel it is because I heard it's going to get hardly any attention. So, probably, I don't know. It might be on the dark web, but I'm not feeling it is. I feel it is somewhere else. But, you plug it in where how it resonates, but however that resonates, whether it's on the dark web or not, um, I heard it's hardly get, not getting any attention. And I heard through many series of chain of events, it will have to be taken down. Um, no consent or authorization. So you plug it in how it resonates, and that's the way it should be. And that's just the truth. Experiments that you have perspective. Tower reversed. Death reversed.
Knight of Swords reversed. A Sagittarius masculine that made so much money off you on a, a legal sex video of the past. They're about to have huge tower moments in their life. Expensive negative tower moments. They're about to have so many of them that all the money they made off of you, they're going to have to spend it on these repairs and other expenses plus more. Way more. No more partying. Oh my God. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So a Sagittarius masculine that made a shit ton of money off you in, uh, off a sex video I heard in the past. I heard a legal sex video. So I'm assuming it was made with voyeur camera energy because if it, I mean, if it's illegal, obviously y'all didn't have and have it. He didn't get your consider authorization to run it around the mill of social media or the community or both to make so much money off of it. So I'm presuming it was illegal because he didn't get your consent or authorization. But how that resonates, I heard he made a shit ton of money off of it, uh, if that resonates for you. Um, but I heard he's about to have a lot of tower moments in his life soon. Um, negative financial tower moments soon. Um, some kind of repair energy and something else. And I heard um, he's going to actually end up spending w way more money than what he made off you to fix all these repairs and other negative financial tower moments in his life than what he made off you with this video. And it sounds like he made a lot of money. He made a lot of money. He made a lot of money is what I heard. He made a lot of money. So you plug it in how it resonates. So we have the tower reversed, um, death reversed, and knight of swords reversed. For some, you could deal with the Scorpio. Uh, we have double Scorpionic energy in here or not. If you are, they have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter charts. If you are. Someone's about to be questioned about a cold case soon. They're going to lie and it's going to be the wrong move. Wrong move. Because this person is going to turn it around on them in a huge ass way. Oh my God, you plug it in. How it resonates. Somebody's about to be questioned about a cold case soon. Um, I heard um, they're going to lie about it. So whoever this is, it could be you questioning this person about the cold case um, upcoming this week or the person being questioned about the cold case. You have to plug yourself in wherever you fit if you do. But somebody's about to be questioned about a cold case in, um, soon. We've, I mean, my God, we're pulling in two cold cases in here already. Already and two deaths in a workplace. One that hasn't happened yet and one that already has. A lot of deaths. Um. But somebody's about to be questioned about a cold case soon. It could be you about to be questioned or you could be the one questioning. Because we have public investigator energy in here and private investigator energy. Um, but I heard whoever's about to be questioned about the cold case, they're going to lie. And whoever is questioning about the cold case, they're going to know they're lying. And I heard they're going to turn it around on them and they're going to ever regret that they lied. So kudos to the person. Um, I feel it's investigator energy about to question about the cold case turning around on that person um you're obviously very highly intuitive and i heard you're going to know they're lying anyway so i mean and i i mean i know you guys are trained for that shit i know you're trained for it. you go through many classes many um trainings before you get out on the field i mean i've never been an agent or any or an investigator or anything like that but i can only presume you go through a lot of trainings and classes and seminars and what have you what have you um, that, you know, you would be trained to pick up when somebody lies and you're going to pick up when this, if you are the investigator about the question, you're going to pick up their line. So kudos to you. So, um, a tower they knew was coming because, uh, something hasn't ended regarding, and in, in this aspect, I think it's the cold case being questioned, being questioned about the cold case because they're asking to be lying. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Holy crap, man. Whoa. All right, let's pull it. And for some, it could be a Scorpio that's going to question or a Scorpio that's going to be questioned. Um, 
because we have double scorpionic energy in there, but you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages here. Reflector. Reflector. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Spirit messages here have a reflector. Someone's about to be hired to be a public speaker soon. Someone's about to be hired to be a public speaker soon. They're going to have a, a very supportive person. They're going to be very good at this. Okay, someone's about to be hired to be a public speaker soon. I heard um, they're going to have a very supportive person, and they're going to be very good at this. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my God, you can't make this crap up. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard someone's getting a new job this week. Um, for one, you guys, it's a public speaker. And I heard you're, um, you're going to have a very supportive person with you, and you're going to be very good at it. For some, I feel you could be very nervous, maybe, um, speaking in front of large crowds, or maybe for some, you're not. I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, I mean, like, for example, I I have like 14,000 something, something people on here. And, of course, I've been doing this for two and a half years, and I've come a long way on here. But, um, but everybody messes up is what I'm saying. Everybody messes up, but it's owning. It's owning yourself. It's owning who you are, and nobody's perfect. So you can go out there and speak to a crowd of a thousand or a million people, but, but you might screw up, but it's owning your screw ups. It's working with the crowd. It's working, working with it, working with what you got. And that's just the truth. I mean, I never public spoke anywhere, um, but if I did, that's what I would do. If I trip over my foot, or I, I don't know, had a fashion faux pas or something, I would laugh it off and fix it or attempt to fix it. Not run away. You know, I mean, running away never help, help nobody. That don't fix problems. But you can um, laugh it off, gap it off, and keep on rolling. I mean, because, you know, usually your crowd understands where you're coming from. And that's just the truth. Um, if anybody needs to hear that for the public speaker person that's about to get hired as a public speaker. Um, and I'm just being for real. Hopefully that helps somebody. New job, career, public speaking. This is about to piss an Aquarius off in a huge way, but nobody cares anymore. Not the important people. Oh, my God. I heard this is about to... Oh, shit. I, I, woo! We're getting spicy in here. And a Libra. And a Capricorn. Okay, I heard this is going to piss off a Aquarius, a Libra, and a Capricorn, but nobody cares anymore, not uh, the important people. So the important people don't care uh, that it's going to piss off this Aquarius, Libra, and this Capricorn. Damn! Woo! So, um, okay, public speaker. Um, so, And you're going to have a very, uh, like, supportive person with you. So it sounds like you're not going to be doing this by yourself. Maybe you're going to have somebody with you public speaking or you're going to have somebody behind the scenes um, traveling with you or going with you to these events or what have you, what have you. But um, you're going to have somebody there with you. I think you could speak to or get your nervous jitters out before you get up on stage or what have you, what have you. I'm not sure. But new job career in this aspect is public speaking. And uh, for sure, for sure. I heard it's going to piss off an Aquarius, a Libra, and a Capricorn, but uh, nobody. And a Sagittarius. And a Sag. Low vibrational. Low vibrational. It's going to piss off a low vibrational Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Libra. But the high ups basically don't care. They don't care that these people are going to be pissed off. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So public speaking and, um, yeah, that's what I'm picking up in here so far. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. So um, I'm thinking for the public speaker, you know, don't, um, I know you might get a little nervous maybe at first or maybe you might not be. Uh, some people are naturally uh, attracted to crowds and attention and uh, things of that nature. Some uh, get wet feet. I know I had to take public speaking in uh, college and um, I sucked at it. But 
doing this for two and a half years has really, really, really helped a lot. So, um, a lot, a lot. So, um, you know, and I am who I am, you know, and that's just the truth. So I've come to accept that. And I love that about myself. So, you know, it is what it is, but everybody's different. So, um, just, um, hopefully you don't get jitters, uh, but it sounds like the person with you is going to be very supportive. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, and then we've got somebody about to be questioned about a cold case over here, and um, they're going to lie. Serious problems are coming to this person. Serious. They are a position of high authority. Okay, I heard serious problems are going to come to this person. Serious. They are a position of high authority. So whoever this position of high authority in the universe is right now that's about to get questioned about the cold case, they are a position of authority in the universe, but I heard serious problems are going to come to them. But I heard they're going to lie about it. They're going to lie about it. Well, they deserve it if they lie about it, and that's just the truth. But it sounds like they probably got their nice, cushy position of high authority by probably beating people up to get to the top. And that's just the truth because they're used to lying. And I mean, I'm just serious. They're brave and gall enough to lie about a damn cold case. Somebody is seriously trying to quieten a Leo feminine, but it's about to backfire in a huge ass way. Somebody's seriously trying to quieten a Leo quiet a leo feminine but it's about to seriously backfire in a huge way so you plug it in how it resonates so somebody's trying to uh shut up a leo fan basically uh she got leo in her sun moon rising venus or sun moon hammer jupiter cross for some you could be the leo fan uh, they're trying to shut up possibly uh silence and shut up but um i heard it's about to backfire in a huge way and i know i have a lot of leo fans that watch my channel and a lot of leo fan readers so um and i love you guys Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Excuse me. Let's pull one more. Spirit messages you have reflected. Throne position, high authority. I think that's this person um, that's about to lie about the cold case. That's exactly what I think. And I heard um, it's about to um, be neg very negative for them. This is about to detriment their career. This is about to detriment their career. That's what I heard. So them lying about this cold case is about to detriment their career. They're going to be very stubborn and aggressive, and they're going to lie about the cold case, questioning about the cold case, and they are position of authority. We heard it in here before I even pulled the tea leaves. Um, I heard it's going to detriment their career. Their career should have been detrimented years ago. They abused their authority, and it's about to be exposed. Their career should have been detrimented years ago. They abused their authority. It, sh um, they should, have been, it should have been detrimented years ago. So they're an abusive power person, whoever they are. For one, it's a masculine energy. For one, it's a fan that takes on heavy masculine. For one, it's a masculine energy, and for one, it's a fin that takes on heavy masculine. So for one, it's a masculine energy. Um, there's two in here about to be questioned about a cold case. One's a masculine position of authority, and one is a fin that takes on heavy masculine. So there's two people about to be questioned about the cold case, whether it's a fin that takes on heavy masculine or masculine. And um, I heard their career should have been detrimented years ago because they abused their, posi their position of authority. So abuse of power, basically. They're very stubborn and aggressive. They don't like, they think they're always right. They abuse their authority. They don't follow the rules or the policies or procedures or what have you, what have you. It's clear as day for the messages in the cards. Wow. All right, let's see if we hear anything else.
and a Pisces feminine is about to lose her job for many series of shame events. She's an addict. Secret addict. About to be exposed. And a Pisces femme is about to lose her job. She's an addict, a secret addict. Through many series of chain of events, she's about to be exposed. So I think she's a position of authority. And maybe she's a stubborn, aggressive person in this situation. Um, she's Pisces feminine. She got Pisces in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine behavior, Jupiter charts. I heard she's a secret addict and she's about to be exposed. I think it's through that company wide corporate conglomerate um, drug screening about to be rolled out. But, um, but I mean, I'm not sure. But um, if she's a position of authority, um, I wonder who's going to administer the drug screening to her. Maybe another position of authority or corporate. Um, just saying, just saying. I mean, Hope somebody, hope she don't have big boobs, or if she has medium-sized boobs, somebody needs to watch the vial. The boobs, just saying, just saying. All right, let me, let me pull some more. Spare messages here, if you Someone's about to get a paternity test soon and realize they're not the father. It's about to create many series of chain events. Court action. Someone's about to get a paternity test soon and realize they're not the father. And it's about to create many series of chain events court action so um i think one of you guys maybe your masculine energy and you're about to get a paternity test on child or children um and i think it's you masculine energy i'm pulling i feel it's one of my masculine energies um that's about to get a paternity test and you're about to realize you're not the father of child or children and i heard it's going to create many series of shame events court action so i think you're going to file court action on the baby mama that was basically taking you for all your money um i feel you're probably wealthy or you paying out a shit ton in child support and i'm just being for real paying a lot a lot a lot a lot in child support a lot paying a lot a lot a lot in child support a lot so you're paying uh yeah i feel it's one of my masculine energies that watches or you're about to watch um you pay a crap ton in child support right now but it's for a kid that's not yours um but if this resonates for you or you feel it does you're you you haven't done it yet you're about to get a paternity test and i heard um it's going to turn out either a one child or two or two plus children and it's going to turn out you're not the father and then you're going to file court action on um the whoever this is that basically duped you into paying all this child support uh, by the way um if you can't do that for per court documentation you can i mean you can't do that that's that's illegal that is so illegal and criminal uh, i'm surprised that that person doesn't end up in prison and i'm serious about that uh, because you that is fraud and that is theft and those that's like federal crimes and i'm serious like that is super serious super serious um so i'm surprised if that person doesn't end up in prison and I'm just being serious. But I heard you are paying a shit ton. She knew exactly what she was doing. She knew exactly what she was doing. If that resonates for you. She knew exactly what she was doing. Well, I don't really feel sorry for her then. She knew exactly what she was doing. When she did this. When she filed this um, child support on you. Knowing you wasn't the father. But, it, she, but she did it because of the money. If that resonates for you. A Gemini is the father. You are not a Gemini. A Gemini is the father and you're not a Gemini. Is what I heard. So whoever you are. I didn't hear a sign on you. But I heard a Gemini is the father. You're not. 
you're not a Gemini, so you don't have Gemini in your chart or sun sign, I'm presuming. But a Gemini is father, so a Gemini sun sign, I'm presuming, or they have Gemini in their chart. But you are not a Gemini. You're not the father. A Gemini is. But she did it for strategic money reasons. Um, many, 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 many negative series of time events are going to occur for her after this occurs. A huge fire on your ass is about to be lit. Many, 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 many series of time events are about to occur for her. After this occurs, a huge fire on your ass is going to be lit. So after you get the paternity results of child or children, sir, um, presuming you don't, you're not a Gemini, um, a huge fire is going to be lit under your ass. I heard a Gemini is the father, but she knows that a Gemini is the father. But she basically duped you into believing you were this kid's father for the money. And I heard you're paying a shit ton of child support. So you're paying legally through child, the, the court system um, for this child. But it's not yours. It's a Gemini's. I heard a huge fire is going to get lit under your ass. Um, and you're some kind of legal action. So, I mean, I can't see how she doesn't end up in prison. And I'm just being serious. That is so criminal and illegal. Yikes. Four swords reversed. The lovers reversed. Ace of wands reversed. Someone's ex is about to start blowing up their phone. Blowing up their phone. Because of the past. For some, it's two, two plus exes. Someone's ex is about to blow up your phone, blow up your phone um, because of the past. For some, it's two, two plus exes. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, someone's ex is about to, for some of you guys, it's one ex, I'm feeling. For some, it's two or two plus exes. But um, they're about to start blowing up your phone, baby, if that resonates for you um, because of the past. So you plug it in how it resonates. So um, you're not going to get any rest and relaxation. You're probably going to be annoyed as hell um, because of all this phone blowing up, I would be annoyed as hell, and that's just the truth, um, <laughs> I'd probably put it on silent and let them leave a voicemail, but, I mean, of course, you can do what you want to do, dear God, that's the X energy, um, they didn't take action in the past, but they're about to, so, upright, um, so, I heard blowing up the phone, so, I mean, huge action, but as of right now, in energetic space, they haven't done it yet, so, you plug it in, how it resonates, this is crazy, And through many series of chain of events, someone's about to lose their kids soon. Pin day light, court action, child abuse. Relating to voyeur cameras. And a child and linked to a child pedophile ring. Oh my god. For, some is a masculine energy, some is a feminine energy. So it's at least two people. There are many series of chain of events. For some, it's a masculine energy. For some, it's a feminine energy. Um, they're about to lose their kids soon. Um, child, kid or kids, however that resonates for whoever these people are. Um, I heard pin day light court, court action um, for child abuse. Um, real, uh, it's going to be connected to some kind of um, 
hidden voyeur camera and child pedophile ring. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That could be why somebody's ex is about to blow up somebody's phone. Um, they're about to realize um, they're about to lose their kids over the um, some kind of child pedophile ring linked to voyeur cameras or cameras, camera or cameras, or what have you, what have you. How that resonates and applies, okay? A Scorpio that thought he had a handle on a situation, it's about to blow up. He's a position of high authority. A Scorpio that thought he had a handle on a situation is about to blow up. He's a position of authority. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, healthcare. Healthcare. He's a position of authority in healthcare. He thought he had a handle on a situation, but it's about to blow up. Um, I'm assuming in the negative tower light way. Huge negative tower moments. People are about to start quitting quickly and soon. Okay, so he's a position of high authority in healthcare, and he thought he had a handle on a situation, but I heard um, apparently he don't. There's about to be some kind of huge negative power moments for him. I heard people are about to start quitting quickly and soon. He works, he's a position of authority in healthcare. Uh, he could be stubborn and aggressive, or maybe not. I'm not sure, but um, he is definitely a position of authority. And um, he is about to start having some, he thought he had a handle on, he's, he's definitely controlling. If he's not stubborn and aggressive, he's definitely controlling, I'll tell you that. Because I, I, I heard he thought he had a handle on a situation. Uh, very controlling, very. It's about to blow up in his face. Okay, he's very controlling, very, and it's about to blow up in his face. So he's a position of authority in healthcare. And he's very, very, very controlling, but it's about to blow up in his face. I heard many people are about to start quitting soon and quickly. And they're not going to look back. And they're not going to look back is what I heard. They're not going to look back. So they're about to leave. I think he thought he was going to keep all these people here, wherever he was at. But it sounds like they're unhappy and they want to go elsewhere or try a new career, which everybody has the freedom to do that. Um, and they're about to do it. I heard he thought he had a handle on it, but so I think he tried to talk him down in a pleasant way, try to get him to stay. Oh, please come stay with me, blah, blah, blah. But they're unhappy. If they're unhappy, they have the right to quit. And that's just the truth. Um, at will, just saying, just saying. Um, and it goes both ways. And that's just the truth. Um, so they have the right to quit if they want to quit. Now, I mean, now I don't know if they tried to um, sign a con. I don't know if they signed a contract. I don't know. Now, if they sign a contract, that's different. And somebody's going to try to get somebody to sign a contract this week. Read every single word in this contract. Every single word. Do not sign it if you're not comfortable. For one, you will say you will want to talk to your lawyer. Whoa. Okay, so there's at least two of you. There, this is a long reading, but we're still going. So there's at least two of you about to be asked to sign a contract this week. Um, I heard read every single word. Read every single word and read it carefully, apparently, because it sounds like they're going to try to trick you in there with wordplay. Um, but I heard read every single word. I heard for one of you guys, um, I heard do not sign it if you don't feel comfortable. So don't, feel, don't sign it if you don't feel comfortable. And basically... For one, I heard you're going to ask to talk to your lawyer. So I'm assuming you want to take it to a lawyer, um, a lawyer to have it scoped out before you sign it. And that's, that is so smart. Trust me. That is so smart. You live and you learn. And trust me, if I ever get asked to sign any kind of contract ever, ever, ever from here now, now on out, I will take it to a lawyer from here on out, period, point blank, forevermore. And that's just the truth. That's the damn truth. So that's always the smart thing is what I'm trying to say. So at least one, you're saying you're, you're going to ask to take it to a lawyer. That's smart. It protects you. It protects you. It protects you. So I don't blame you because that's what I will do from here on out for every single contract. It don't matter what it is. I'm asked to sign. And that's just the truth. But it's at least two of you about to um, get asked to sign contracts this week. One, you're going to ask to take it to a lawyer. Um, so I'm assuming you're going to ask to have the contract, take it to a lawyer, and you're going to take it to a lawyer. That's exactly what I would do. 
you live and you learn, baby. And one, I guess you're going to read over it before you sign it. I don't know what you're going to do on the other one. But one, you're going to ask to take it to a lawyer. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's very smart. Absolutely. And by the way, if anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, at will, um, at will um, employment is basically um, like Alabama is an at will employment state. You work at will. The companies hire you at will. I mean, you can quit at any time. They can fire you at any time. That's at will employment for anybody doesn't know. Unless there's a contract involved. Apparently, there's some contracts involved for at least two of you guys. And that's just the truth. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Uh, like when I get hired, when I got hired in at Crestwood Medical Center in January, it was at will. It was at will because I didn't sign any contract or anything like that. Um, and that's just the truth. So, um, so you plug it in how it resonates, okay? At least not anything like locking you in, like for two years or a year or anything like that. Someone's going to try to make you feel like you're not good enough this week. Stand up to them. Someone's going to try to make you feel like you're not good enough this week. Stand up to them. That's what I heard. Someone's going to try to make you feel like you're not good enough this week. Stand up to them. And that's a freaking loop. Absolutely. You're always good enough. Anybody needs to hear this. You're always good enough. Absolutely. freaking loop. You're always good enough. Okay. You always are. Um. Don't let people bully and berate you and put you down because that causes that causes emotional issues. Uh, it can cause medical issues, mental health issues. It, ca it can cause problems. Um, don't let anybody bully or berate you or put you down. Please don't. Please, please, please don't. Okay? Please don't. Um, I don't have my kids here to um, boost up, so I got to boost you guys up. Okay? Okay. A very malicious older feminine energy, malicious cold older feminine energy that has put dark arts, very heavy dark arts on a feminine energy in the past. It is about to, it's already backfired, it's about to continue to backfire on her and her family in a huge, heavy, negative way, very negative way. She's about to become very angry. A very malicious, mean, feminine energy, 40 and above, that has put, uh, I heard a crap ton of dark arts on a fem energy in the past. I heard it's uh, already started backfiring. It's going to continue to backfire um, on her and her family, I heard, in a huge negative way. So, um, she could be a stubborn and aggressive way. I heard it's going to piss her off in a huge way. So, I feel she could be a very masculine feminine energy. I heard she's very um, cold and malicious and spiteful. And, yeah, you have to be cold, malicious, and spiteful to put dark arts on people, and that's just the truth. Um, I've never done dark arts. I never want to do dark arts a day in my damn life. But if you're putting dark arts on people, putting spell work on people, putting work on people, you're obviously cold, malicious, and mean, and spiteful. And there's a reason you're doing it. And it's not in a positive way. I heard it's going to continue to backfire on her. I feel she'd be a stubborn, aggressive person. Um... And she could be a position of authority, possibly. But you plug it in, how it resonates. That, that's terrible. She shouldn't have done what she did, though. And that's just the truth. Someone that's in the public eye now, they're about to be heavily, heavily, heavily in the public eye. And someone that's in the public eye, heavily, 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 heavily in the public eye now, they're about, through many series of chain events, they're about to get terminated. 
They will not be able to find another job in their career sector, in their community. Someone that's um, in the public eye now, I heard they're about to be heavily, heavily, heavily in the public eye. Um, whoever that that's for. So you're in the public eye now, but you're about to heavily, heavily, heavily be in the public eye. So you're already in the public eye now, but you're about to really heavily be in the public eye, if that resonates for you. That's situation one. Situation two, <clears throat> this person is employed in the workspace out in the 3D universe. They're heavily in the public eye now. For some, they could be positions of authority, I'm feeling. Um, but they're about to get terminated for many series of chain events. Um, and I heard they will not be able to find another job in their career field in their community. They will have to move. If they want one in their career field, they will have to move if they want one in their career field. So they will have to move if they want one in their career field. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, I'm closing this. I love you guys so much. I hope everybody has a wonderful day and namaste.